Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Okay, in this video, I would like to explain about Strapi GraphQL how to create a data, I mean to make a new a new entry so let's get started so first just open terminal, I'm gonna list all the file I have and will change directory to my strappy app and then run yarn develop here to continue the development so here I'm gonna open this link so we are prompted the login page and I'm gonna enter the username and password Okay, uh, so just to explain briefly, uh, I have created so collection types named ID card repository, which is a repository to store identities of people, and then here are here is a uh, I mean you can see many fields here but some of them such as media and date are are not included in this video I'm I'm I'm, go I'm not going to make that and uh for example face top face left face width and face height and some other fields are also not required uh not required fields as you see here, I'm. Oops. I'm going to delete this. We have. We do not have default value for this. So, some fields are not required fields. So, I I will not explain in this video. So here, I I have created four entries, or yeah for data maybe you can say that and I'm going to open the GraphQL playground GraphQL. so just a short explanation press control and space and then you will be prompted with yeah, some suggestions from the GraphQL playground and then I'm going to use mutation because I'm going to create a new entry so query is used to retrieve or include operation it stands I mean it can be used for the R R stands for read or retrieve so you can use this query to uh, retrieve data that you have created but I will use the mutation in this query because I'm going to create an entry so put braces here and then press control space to see some suggestion of course uh, we are going I'm going to select the create ID card repository to create a single entry and then put braces here Again, control space. Oops, I'm sorry. I think it's not braces, but you know, uh, maybe I can say curly braces. And here, uh, as suggested, I'm gonna put the input word, put uh, double. Yeah, it's not a semicolon, but yeah, a symbol like that. Give it a space and then control space. Put uh, braces. Con uh, press control space. If we here we are gonna put 
maybe parenthesis yeah symbol like uh, braces but not the curly one and I'm gonna give it enter to break line yes maybe you can use predify for this but it's up to you not mandatory here so uh, we are all set to create an entry press control space and then here uh, we have some fields that should should appear I mean uh, should be filled when we create an entry but if you set if you go back to here the content type builder for example if we set this identifier field to private field here if you check this it will not appear or show up in the API response so uh, be careful and it, it will not show in the suggestion like this if you set uh, if, you, if you set the field to private field so I'm not gonna set uh, this field to private field so just let's go back and the first kind so uh, make sure that I have created here the schema so the kind field is string but it's also an enum I have to choose between this I will choose P for passport put comma again control space identifier and for identifier I would give or oh, it's a string it's okay so passport ID give a comma again control space choose name uh, for example name is John do and control space put the birthplace to I'm not really sure but I would give Texas And birth date, I'm going to put it here because, yeah, uh, I'm just going to skip it. Gender is male, I mean, he's a man, so I will put it M. Blood type is also an enum. I would put uh, AB. For address. Um, I'm just gonna put it randomly because it is a string next religion so religion his religion uh, I just put it known Marriage status is married, so I'll just put it M. Occupation. For occupation, for example, he's a fisherman. Nationality code. I'm going to put US here. Oops, uh, this is not over, so actually I have another page. So next one is expiry date, but as I said, I'm going to skip uh, the date and media type fields with date and media type. So I'm just going to uh, jump into 
issuer country code US and then issued oh sorry this is a date and I'm gonna put it no face top face it face with face hit just put it no actually it's just an integer but uh, in the project that I'm doing I'm not, I'm not supposed to fill these fields fill these fields because uh, I am my, my colleagues would fill th these fields in our project so I'm just gonna uh, leave it null next one is status code I'm just gonna put it D uploaded app this is date but I'm just gonna put it no okay and here oops here press control space key braces and then control space So what I am doing is actually uh, the fields that I have created above, like kind here, identifier, name. You can see here name is John Do and etc. I'm just gonna put the fields that I have filled above. nationality code um, Oops. So I think this is the query I'm going to run oops kind not found so let me give it a try about this so we've got an error Um... 
so just going to delete this Maybe I will give a comment for uploaded at because it is date and here we have created an entry but for uploaded at as you can see it is null because I have commented here so if you look to the collection types uh, we have five entries so this is how to create an entry using GraphQL thank you very much